So if they were an Oscar for stealing or copying someone's work, Mark Zuckerberg would have won many. Well, I'm not saying it, but the netizens are. In this video, we are going to know the reason why people are calling Mark Zuckerberg person who copies ideas from other businesses and startups. Now, Mark Zuckerberg is in the AI race as well. We have heard it from Apple lately that Apple is working on their AI products. And at the same time, we have got some really crazy updates from Meta as well. But you know, when there is Mark Zuckerberg and Meta, there has to be some controversy. So let's try to understand what Mark Zuckerberg is looking forward to and why there is a controversy surrounding it. First of all, let's start with the hot topic, the controversy around WhatsApp AI. So recently, Meta made an announcement that they are introducing an AI powered product in WhatsApp. And soon it's going to be live or in the early access for countries like India and Africa. The AI is called chat with Meta AI. And it is on WhatsApp for conversations, questions, recommendations, and AI image generation. So now let's take a look at Meta AI on WhatsApp. I just gave it my first message. Hey Meta AI. And you can see the response. Now let's try the image generation. So the very first recommendation is imagine a car race on Mars. So let's try it. You can see it uses slash imagine, which is quite similar to mid journey. So if you have ever used mid journey, you know, before writing any prompts, we used to add slash then imagine, then we used to write a prompt. And I think the picture is pretty good. We can see a F1 car in the mass background, like, and it was quite fast as compared to mid journey or chat GPT or DALI that we use. So the image generation was pretty fast. So now let's try to give it a more complex prompt and let's see how fast it does and how's the overall quality. So yeah, now I've written a new prompt. Imagine a room full of billionaires bidding for an antique painting. And we can see a tense environment feels like everyone wants the painting. The auctioneer looks confused. So it is a complicated prompt. Let's see how it generates the picture. Uh, let me tell you, it was pretty fast. And at the same time, if we look closely, obviously we cannot see the faces. Some faces are disoriented and it looks quite awkward, but the overall feel and look is really great. I cannot see the auctioneer anywhere who looks confused, but yeah, you can get a sense. And since it is still in beta version, I think it's going to go a long way and it's pretty fast. So yeah, it's really amazing. So now let's give it a simple task. Tell me a joke. Let's see. Here's one. Why did the scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in the field. Get it? Hope that made you smile. Well, obviously you're fast, but this uh, is not a very good joke. I hope if I give it more descriptive prompts, it can give me a good joke, but yeah. Overall, my first impression on Meta AI is pretty good. The image generation is very fast and on simple prompts, it can give you really good results. But if you give it complicated prompts, you might see some flaws and stuff. But yeah, it is still under development. I think uh, Meta is doing some really, really good job. Now the big question here is, why is there a controversy with Meta AI? And why the founder of Perplexity AI spoke out on Twitter. Let's try and understand what's happening. On 12th April, Arvind Srinivas, the CEO of Perplexity AI, posted a tweet saying, honored and proud of our designers. But why so? Because people felt that the Meta AI and the Perplexity AI, the overall user interface is very, very similar. And for the netizens, they didn't take any time to point out that Mark Zuckerberg always copies the idea and the features of their competitions. You can see the tweet of Arvind Srinivas. And if you go down, there is one tweet that shows you the difference between both the interfaces. For me, I can see a lot of difference in the center. You can see there are multiple prompts. Perplexity has it in rectangular boxes, but here you can see the curved boxes. But yeah, people started pointing out and you can see some tweets as well, which says, if there were an Oscar for stealing or copying someone's work, Mark Zuckerberg would have won many. So yeah, what are your thoughts on this? Did Mark Zuckerberg really copy Perplexity AI or is it just you cannot make it more complex or you have to keep it friendly for the user? What are your thoughts? Do tell me down in the comment section. And if you want me to take this new meta AI to new levels, try some really crazy experiments on it. Do tell me now because very soon we are going to see Grok AI from X and which is a product of Elon Musk. And I think it's going to be groundbreaking.
So don't forget to drop your thoughts in the comment section. Till then, I'll see you in the next one. Hey Meta, can you please play some funny cat videos?